Hi everyone, this is Natasha and welcome to Friday Fun Bits. So I had posted on the Facebook uh, group for Friday Fun Bits and you're not, if you haven't joined that yet, uh, there'll be a link in the description below. Um, what I'm going to do and uh, for today's video and today's video is a kind of by request from Zoe. So Zoe, here you go. Um, at least today I will talk about standard card sizes. I know there's a lot of confusion uh, for those who are new to crafting and actually I learned something myself even though I'm not relatively new so I thought I'm, I'll go over that. So I'm going to talk about the four basic basic cards and these are all US measurements. I'll include um, centimeters, millimeters on my blog just to make it easier because I thought there'd be a lot of numbers to go over. So. This is a four bar or a response card, and it's four and five eighths by three and three eighths. So you would need a piece of paper that is four and three quarters long by four and three eighths. No, is it three eighths? Four and five eighths. I will fix that. Four and five eighths. So when you fold it, you get the four and five eighths by three and three um, three eighths. And an envelope standard for this response card is four and five eighths by three and three eighths. No, I think I got the eighths wrong. I have this wrong. I'll update that. See, this is what happens. I, I was trying to do this in between a couple of meetings. So I'll have a PDF file with each of these sizes all on one PDF and all the numbers. So you don't need to try to write this down if, in case you want to. So this is a standard four bar or a response card. This is a standard A2. 99% of the time this is the type of card that I make. Um, simply because it's easy. You take an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, cut it in half. So you have 8.5 this way, 5.5 this way, and fold it in half. So you have a five and a quarter by five and a half by four and a quarter. So it's a five and a half by eight and a half piece of paper and a standard envelope is four and three eighths by five and three quarters. So standard A2. Standard A6, um, it's a little bit of an unusual size um, primarily because you need a nine inch long piece of paper. <laughs> So that's why I don't use it. I actually had to grab my watercolor paper to get this because it's a six and a quarter by four and a half. So four and a half twice is nine inches. So I grabbed my nine by 12 sheet of, um, actually I think it's acrylic paper. And it's, it's not a size I typically use. Um, as a matter of fact, I don't know if I've ever really received this card size other than pre-made standard like Hallmark cards. I think this is um, a standard size for them or a typical size for them. So that's A6 and an envelope for an A6 is four and three quarters by six and a half. As you can see, there's always a quarter added for the envelope to accommodate the card. And then the last one I'm gonna mention is A7 and that's a five by seven and that's a seven by 10 piece of paper. So 10 by seven, fold it over. And you can use them either this way or this way, obviously. I just have them all oriented this way for now. And the envelope is five and a quarter by seven and a quarter, addition of a quarter size. So now that you have the standards for the cards and the envelopes, let's chat briefly about shipping because shipping is an important element of making the cards and that could actually help you determine what size you prefer to use. U.S. Post Office, and I'm only, I can only speak about the U.S. Post Office because that's the information that I have and that's what I use. Standard sizes are all for, based off of rectangles. So if you have a square card, you're going to pay more, irregardless of what the square is, unless you put your square card into a rectangle envelope that it will fit. Like if you have a five by five card, you can fit it into five and a quarter by seven and a quarter standard rectangle. The other element that could cause you to pay different than the standard uh, postage is the heft of the card. For example, I have this one here, shown here. 
um, the standard sizes for maximum or minimum and maximums um, for po posting in the U.S. a rectangle letter, and it's called letter because everything that's in this types um, this is classified as a letter. The height minimum has to be three and a half inches. Maximum six and an eighth inch. The length minimum is five inches, and the max is eleven and a half. And the thickness minimum is 0 .007 of an inch, and the maximum is a quarter. So if you have dimensionals, like I have on this particular card, right here, the buttons, if those dimensionals are less than a quarter, which they actually are, this will be one standard postage stamp. So whatever the, the stamps that are out now with a 45 cents, that's what it would cost to ship uh, to post in the US. If you get really elaborate, and I'm going to grab a really fancy schmancy dimensional card, this card is definitely more than a quarter. So this will require additional postage. It may even require a bubble envelope. So that's just some basics that I wanted to mention today. If you would like to know any other standards, um, I was going to kind of bundle in paper stack standard sizes, but I could probably talk about that in, in a whole separate video. So hopefully this helps you guys. Um, the four standard cards used in the, in the U.S., um, response cards A2, A6, and A7, as well as the dimensions of how deep or how thick the card can be. This will be more than one postage. This will be one. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Um, I will post the PDF file on my blog with a link in the description below, having all of these dimensions in both um, U.S. inches and centimeters, millimeters, for all of our international, for all the international viewers on the one PDF file, hopefully by the end of the weekend. So uh, stop back and check it out. Um, and as always, if you have any questions or any suggestions for future Friday Fun Bits, please feel free to either leave a comment here or um, if you join the Facebook group, again, link will be in the description, you can always post that there. Um, I've had several suggestions, so I'm going, I have several things that are going to be in the works for the upcoming weeks, but you're always welcome to add more. So hopefully everyone has a fabulous weekend, and thank you so much for watching.